What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP 21 with me, James, and our uh, main man, Dougie Decker, over here with uh, Federal Grassini Moto 2 team. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. If you didn't, um, let me know why. <laughs> if you didn't watch it, then uh, go back and watch it. We've uh, we've joined the Moto 2 class uh, after being the Moto 3 champion. Again, if you didn't see all that, then obviously go back and watch all that. I've ruined it for you now, but go check it out. Um, Last time out, we did the two races at La Salle in Qatar. Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. Uh, we did not very good in the first race. Second race, we kind of redeemed ourselves a little bit. But we are down in the championship. Where are we? We're lonely little 14th place. We're uh, 28 points behind Gardner already, which is not ideal, to be honest. We are, I think, top of our team. Oh, no. D no, Digi's way, way above us. He's in fifth. All right, fair enough. Yes, yeah, so we got some. Uh, we got some work to do. So um, nothing to do. No engine upgrades. No frame upgrades. No nothing. So let's get straight into Portugal. Uh, we're going to be going to Porto which is going to be well hard. If I find Qatar hard, this is going to be insane. So I'm going to need some practice. I'll uh, I'll see you in qualifying. Right, yeah, FP3 is over with, and we are uh, we're dying in 20th place, <laughs> which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. We're um, point nine off the pace. I've tried everything. I tried everything. I've changed the settings. I've been messing about with everything. Of tires, fuel, everything. I can't put in a good lap. I just can't put in a good lap. Portimao is. I bet it's a wicked circuit in real life, but it's so difficult. There's so many blind corners. So many hills. So many everything. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, we are. Uh, we're a long way behind. So we're going to be going through Q1 definitely. We're going to be down at the very bottom of this uh, combined results. I expect. Oh, we're literally going to be last. All right, maybe not last, but 25th. Not ideal. So, um, yeah, let's get into Q1, I guess, and see what we can do. All right, it's like a little gloomy out. So we're going to go... I'm going to take some softs in. Screw it. Soft, soft. Or maybe we're going to go soft, medium. Don't know. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Should we go... We'll definitely go soft front. Say medium rear. We need... Yeah, we've got plenty left. All right, we'll go soft front, medium rear. Get out on this track. See what we can do. This is going to be hard. I'm telling you now, this is not going to be a, a very good lap. Oh, did I just do a pit start as well? I didn't mean to do that. All right, I'll do a, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just, can we just do, we start flying lap? Yes, we can. <laughs> I don't want to ride around and wreck me tires before we even begin. Corner day, mate. Let's see what we can do around Port Mount. This is going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. I am struggling, as I've already said, in practice. So, it's quite fun laps, just going to be slow or a crash. One of the two, that is the only options we're going to have really, I imagine. Already we're slow, just coming out of this last corner. The back end, I said, I don't want to say this, I won't say it all uh, episode again, or I try not to, but the back end in Qatar was just as bad, and I've, I don't know, I've done all the, the guided setup you can do to uh, increase traction at the uh, at the rear, but uh, we're going to be going wide into turn one. Let's just do it, screw it. We might not get a penalty. No, we're alright. Dude, all right. As as always, my first lap qualifying, I'm worse than I, uh, I was in practice for some some reason. I think I'd have got better by now. I did at least at least eight laps, maybe even ten laps in practice. I did a lot. Felt like a lot anyway. Let's see if we can get on the back of whoever that is in front and just get them to tow us around a little bit. We're wide everywhere though. I don't know. I messed about with like the oversteer, understeer stuff. I messed about with the traction. Obviously, we've got no traction control, but. Adjusted some suspension settings to try and get a bit more, a uh, bit more weight on the back. But then, but then you get the opposite problem of it wheeling everywhere, so you can't really win right now. It's a difficult, difficult track. But uh, let's at least put a lap in, just see what what happens. We're gonna have to do another lap because this is slow as hell. So I think we're already like one, yeah, one point two off the pace. Oh, we're taking that too tight. We're gonna get wide here as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just calm down, calm down. You're in the gravel now as well. <laughs> all right, I'm not even gonna finish this lap. Let's do another one, let's restart. Let's do another fly lap. Here we go, fly lap number two. Paramount three. We'll uh, bump the engine braking and the anti wheelie down by one, as I normally do. See if we can get a bit of a better braking, uh, better braking into turn one here. Get that back brake on, mate. I feel like you've got to use a back brake on these motor bikes. I don't know if you'd use it this much in real life. Like, I was locking the back wheel up there pretty much. Which they obviously don't do. They they do kick the back. Uh, I don't know. Sam is definitely he's calmed down a bit this year, but he definitely used to have a bit of a slide the back end night style. 
maybe the Aussie's a bit of a break. I thought that was more uh, just bang it down the gearbox, but anyway. The front just lifts so easy again. I can't win. It's either the front that you're doing loads of stoppies on the braking, or the back wheel's just spinning up constantly and sliding everywhere, or I don't know. Can't get a good setting. I'm gonna have to uh, perhaps just have a little play. This track is quite obviously uh, unique, to be fair, so it's probably not the best track to judge our our pure pace on this Moto2 bike on, but uh, a bit wide there, that we're, this is not a bad lap so far actually, we could do with not make any mistakes now. But then coming to the end of the lap now, see if we can uh, at least put in a half decent lap, so we're not on the back road of grid, maybe, maybe, we still might be to be honest, he's out of the pits. Right, what are we, one foot, uh, I don't know, let's see what this looks like. Get a very, very distant slipstream. Where's that put us? 0.5 off the pace, we're in, oh god, we're in temp five. <laughs> it's not ideal, not ideal at all, is it? Uh, Alright, our rear tire is cold, man. I'm going to put some softs in and do another lap real quick. Alright, I tried another lap on some uh, soft tires, it did not go, it did not go to plan. So we are, uh, we're down to 14th in Q1, so we're going to be like, I don't even know what that is, 20, is that like 24th on the grid, if not even further, no, it's even further back in it, I think. Top work, mate. Top work. We're going to be uh, starting far back, so let's get into the race, I guess, and see what we can do from uh, from, from you wherever we're going to be on the grid. Here we go. Race time. We're going to go with uh, some medium fronts and a hard rear uh, rear tire. Yep. Yeah. And um, let's see what we can do. We're going to be way back on the grid. I think we're in like 20. I don't even know. Gardner's on pole. Bezeki second. Fernandez uh, third. Digi, our teammates in fourth. Uh, Lowe's is in seventh. Short attempt. What else we got up here? Oh, we're a miles back, mind. All right. Where's our other teammate? Oh, even Bulaga. Yeah, Bulaga's 24th. He's ahead of us. Brilliant. Everyone's on medium, pretty much. We're at uh, 28th area. Medium and a hard. There's a few people on medium hards. All right. Let's see what we can do for start then. Probably not a lot. Probably not a lot at all. No, that was a weird start. I'm gonna cut to the outside straight away because I've just got horrible feeling. If I go barreling down the inside of everybody into turn one. It's just going to be absolute madness. Oh, we're a little bit too wide there, really. Oh, we don't want to lose any places off the start. Let's try and make up places. Make up places. Come on. Let's just get in the pack here. Let's just see what happens. Screw it. Oh, absolute chaos. We are sandwiched in between our teammate and someone else. We're going to go out of the paint. Do we make any places up? We're 25th, 20... Yeah, 25th off the start. Oh, I have to get on the brakes early with everybody in front of us. We're getting nudged into turn five. Back wheel spinning up. Look at that tire already. What is happening? All right, maybe high tire is not the way to go on the rear. It's not looking brilliant. Oh, we're getting battered out of the way. Come on, we've just about survived the first uh, half of the lap. Uh, where are we going last? We're going to be fighting for last place. I think we might be already. We're in 20, what are we? 29th. We've gone. We've actually lost a place already on our grid spot, we started 28th. Here we go, into the last corner, we're getting people up the inside of us again already. And I think we are officially dead last. Awesome. All right, this is gonna be a tough old race. We're dead last already. The first lap hasn't even finished. We have to hope for some people crashing in front of us, I think, if we're gonna get anywhere in this race, to be honest. Look at our rear tire already, what has happened? Why is that so bad? I don't understand that at all. I mean, we've got some speed on the straight. Blimey, I mean, we flew past those dudes. He's up in front of us, Hector Garza. And uh, is that Albert Arenas in front of him, possibly? Is that what we're going to be doing? Just making up place on the straights and then losing them all <laughs> around the rest of the track? <laughs> I've not enjoyed this race already. This is going to be so difficult. We've got uh, Harris coming up after this, so hopefully we'll do a little bit better there. It's a bit more of a normal track. Get on the brakes, get on the brakes, get on the brakes. Come on, tip it in, tip it in nicely. We've got Looty in front of us now. He's dropping back as well by the looks of it. Oh no, he's fighting back against guys there. Yeah, these motor T bikes are hard to control, man. This is a sign of things to come with the motor GP bikes, so we're going to be even uh, struggling even more. You have to get practicing me, I think. I can't even take that flat out right now. I don't know what's going on. And then we're too tight right now, now. Wasn't too bad, but just slows us down coming out the other side of that, uh, that corner. 
Right, we've kept pace with them a little bit. We've dropped back a little bit in this last couple, these last couple corners. But if we can just do that every lap, and then get some of them on the straight, if we can get a decent run out of the last uh, last two corners, come on, get that power down, Dougie, come on. My rear tire is knackered already. Can't believe that. That's ridiculous. I thought medium hards were the way to go. Should have uh, maybe gone meet hard, and I, I was gonna say mediums, but right, we're a bit far back. But uh, we've got boys behind us as well. Are we gonna catch these guys? Remy Gardner's just been a 146.5. We're doing seconds lower, basically. And why did turn one? My miles. Let's just screw it. Let's just keep going. All right, well, we didn't lose any places for all that, which is good. We didn't gain any either, which is not ideal. But oh, I just don't know when to break. Honestly, I'm just breaking at different places each lap, trying to gain on some of these people in front of us but I mean the pack's all pretty compact which is nice but I just, I'm still going to struggle to get through it I think that was better through that to be fair put it down put it down come on come on come on don't lose the front I assume it keeps it must keep your setup from practice and stuff because I did have a, as I said I did have a mess about the, the guided setup so I'm hoping that is still how this bike set up it doesn't feel quite as uh nice as it did earlier but then I don't know if that's the tyres maybe I have got different tyres on I think we needed that hard for the race Ooh, fish tailing everywhere I think I just need to get used to how to ride these bikes compared to the Moto 3 bikes I, I, we were pretty bad to begin with in Moto 3 as well so I think it's just going to be me getting used to it a little bit but this track is so hard Bit far back again for the straight. I think we're going to catch him. I'm having the brakes so much earlier than I was. Well, I don't know if I am, but it feels like I'm braking a lot earlier just because I don't want to go tearing into the back of some of these guys in front of us. I'm taking liberties a bit in practice, you know, taking a wide line here and there, and obviously you can't do that when there's uh, 28 people in front of you. <laughs> this is a bit difficult. This is better, this is better, come on, this is the best, I mean, it says it's not our best lap so far, but we're definitely closer than we've been all, uh, all race so far. Come on, come on, come on, get the brakes on. Not too much, trying to follow their line. What I should have done was probably tagged onto the back of someone through uh, practice and qualifying. Just learn the track a bit better, maybe. I did have a longer practice than I normally would filming these videos, so... I did try, but it just wasn't the B, I don't think. Right, that was a nice line through there, not bad, not bad. Come on, keep this tire uh, spinning, or not spinning, I should say. Try and get that grip down. Oh, I'm going way wide there, we didn't want that. Come on, this was going to be. Oh, that was the closest we've been already, so we might be able to get some of them into turn one. We're on this straight. Oh my days, look at the state of the pack of people in front of us. I'm going to have to go on the outside, I don't trust myself on the inside. When did they all break? Bit earlier than I did. Uh, get it, get it, get it, get it. We can go a little bit wide. Go on. Right, we didn't gain anything, did we? Oh, come on, mate. Come on, Dougie. We're definitely. This is the closest you've been all race. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I reckon we could have a few of these boys. I think our, what was our objectives? I've completely forgotten. Was it top 15s or top 10s or something? It was, we're nowhere near it, basically. Whatever it was. Might have a dive down the inside there, in here. Oh, there's people going down in front of us. That two people right in front of us. That was Luti and someone else. We will take it. We didn't, it was nothing to do with us. We didn't touch them. We will take people crashing in front of us all day long in this race, definitely. Not normally how you want to win things, or not even win things, not normally how you want to make positions up, but... Right, we're going to be going on to the last lap already, I don't believe it, that race is absolutely flown by. And we've not done a lot with it, to be honest. We should get a handful more of these guys, hopefully, on this straight, and maybe a couple into turn one, maybe, if we're lucky. Oh, a few more people crashing in front of us, which is nice for us. Oh, someone's coming back underneath though, Chantra. Get out of my way, mate, come on. 22nd, what a, what a position to finish the race in. Is it shocking? 
can we get anybody else pulling into the race? Can we get into the top 20? Don't know. Yeah, we might be able to, we might be able to drag some to the line if we can stay close to these lot in front of us. It's going to be a push though, but probably worth a try. I always forget what points are given uh, in MOGP, what points, what places, yeah, they give points out until. I don't think it's the uh, the 20s somehow. But it's our best lap of the race, mate. We're up on our own personal best time by uh, like four tenths or something ridiculous. I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to get anybody to the line unless some people crash out in front of us here. Hopefully it's not us. Our tyres are alright, weirdly, but I don't know, they just keep spinning up for this entire race. I don't think we're going to drag anybody to the line. We're too far back. We have got some decent speed out there, but it's not going to be enough. No, come on! Nope. Oh, wow. Alright. Our championship hopes is in tatters right now. Gardner uh, took, the, to took the win. The Fernando second, Sandlow's third. Zeki, Ben Schneider, Schrotter, Vieje, Dixon and Fernandez right at the top nine. Uh, we are down in 22nd place. Wonderful. Damn. Both our teammates beat us by miles, I think. Bulliga, yeah, Digi was 11th. Nice work, nice work. We uh, Did we get any points? I don't think we probably would have, to be honest. No, I don't think we did. <laughs> we got eight points in total. We're 53 behind Gardner. Oh, mate, we got to get top tens in the races, is what our team's asking for. All right, let's move on. I'll, uh, I'll see you in uh, Jerez. Right then, we're in, uh, we're in Jerez, Jerez, Hedeth, however you want to say it. Uh, combined results, we're dead last. <laughs> I think I, uh, I messed up on the free practices. We've uh, been raining. It was raining all of them, but it was obviously raining worse in FP3, which was the only one I did. So uh, yeah, we are definitely going through Q2, uh, Q1 again. Not a good episode at all, this. We're, uh, we're not doing very well. Digi's top of the table, so um, our bike's definitely got the, the pace. Bulu goes down 24, so he's obviously struggling as well. Um, I should be better around here, hopefully. The race is going to be dry, so qualifying's wet, I think, as well. But let's see what we can do in, uh, in Q1, see if we can get through to Q2. Here we go. Looks like it's a dry in track. Well, it's not as wet as, wet as you like. Wet as hell, but it's sunny, I suppose, is one positive we can take from it. I reckon I might be able to, hopefully, we'll get a bit more grip than I was getting in uh, FP3. Let's wait and see, but... We got the, uh, the wet mediums on. Whoa, all right, not that much more grip. Definitely not that much more grip. We nearly uh, lost it straight away. He dropped it on the first uh, line lap. Let's try not to do that. Someone's going to be coming straight out of pit, straight in front of us, as per usual. I always got it too soon, man. I need to um, remember to let a little bit of time go by before we uh, we get out on our flying laps, because I always just get stuck going somewhere else. This time, not too bad. He's miles ahead, to be fair. Whoever that was, Baltus or someone, I think it was. Yeah, here's me in uh, Portimao saying, oh, we'll, be, we'll be fine in Harris, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. And then it's bloody raining. You can't make this stuff up, honestly. I'm having an absolute terror shocking start to our Moto 2 career. I don't know what is going on, I'm just not gelling with this. Uh, these bikes, not just this bike, I don't think, it's just these bikes in general, they're just so hard to ride. But um, we need to step our game up because it's not going to get any easier going into Moto GP. I'm going to be disappointed if we don't get through to Q2 in uh, round here, to be honest. This is probably one of the tracks I know the best. Everyone knows this track. I don't know why. Well, maybe they don't, but I don't know why I remember it so well. I just don't know. I guess it's, uh, it's been on the calendar forever. I don't know. Just seem to always do half deep. I'm not saying I'm going to be brilliant right here. We're still going to be battling for uh, top 10s probably in the race. Well, no, actually, I say that. I shouldn't say that straight away. So soon should I. If we're battling for top 10s, I'll be happy. Oh, we lost a little bit of time in sector three. See if we can make it back up in a uh, final sector. Hope we'll be able to take these a little bit quicker in the race. This is meant to be dry, as I said. Ooh, great day, mate, great day. I reckon as late as we dare into the last corner. I reckon we're going to break for a little bit later, to be honest. We didn't dare enough. Try not to slide out. Not bad, that's not a bad lap. I might. Should we try and squeeze another one in? Let's see where this puts us. Point two up, alright. We're in fourth. So we need to be in the top four to get through to Q2. Let's do another one, let's do another one. It wasn't the perfect lap. Got to be so gentle on the throttle. I mean I was complaining about the back wheel spinning up in the uh, in the dry, let alone in the wet. Short shifting through the gears as well. Trying to get some traction where we can. <laughs> this track is so slippery still. 
we're actually doing worse than we were on our first lineup, which is weird. I thought that felt better, to be honest, but not good through sector one. Can we make up any time through sector? We were right through sector two last time. Sector three was our worst sector, I think. That's where we lost all our time. So let's see if we can make some up through sector three. Break a little bit later into the hairpin. Oh, that might have been a bit too early still. No, that's alright, that's alright. Again, short shift up into second. First gear is just a waste of space on this wet track. Try and get the power a little bit earlier right now. I don't think we're going to make up much time around sector three. To be honest, it's probably the hardest sector in my opinion. Getting these sweeping curves right, and then this little bit here. Oh, we're going to be going wide. No, all right. Oh, we actually made up some time, but I think that's just because we've gone through the. Uh, sector gun a little bit sooner because we broke so late. Nah, alright, it's going to be worse that. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, we just dropped... Uh, alright, I know, we're in the gravel. Uh, alright, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Alright. Let's get back to the pit. Alright, we just put another lap. This is going to bump us up the grid a little bit. Is it going to be very much? No, up to 14th. I'm going to do another one. It's definitely a dry line emerging around this track. Probably should be staying out to the end really, but we're going to run out of tyres and fuel. Um, Maybe or are we? Maybe I just go for it. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what to do, lads. I don't know what to do. I thought that was going to be a good lap, but that's just all that's uh, gone away from us as well. So there's no point in me finishing it. I'm going to call it day there, and we're going to get into the race because I I can't get any better apparently. <laughs> right, we're going to go with the trusty uh, medium front hard rear. Didn't do too well in uh, Portimao, but I think it should be right around uh, around Jerez. Let's see what we can do from like 28 from the grid then. I just, I don't know. I'm hopefully, dry weather, rain areas, we're gonna be all right. Remy Gardens on pole, Bezeki second, Fernandez third, DG, our teammates in fifth. Uh, Laser was alongside him, Dixon's 11th. We're, uh, as I said, I think we're down in 28th, what's from it again? Uruguay's 20th. We are 28th, back of the grid pretty much, as one uh, one man, Dalaport is on the, the final row. Just a few to go. My team are not going to be happy with us, we need to be careful here. I don't know if you can lose your contract, you probably can. Hopefully it doesn't happen to us and we're going to start improving. But, uh... Oh, we're not even getting the start to either, man. Alright. Right, let's just play this sensibly. We need to not go too slow and we need to try and make up some positions, but... Oh, we just last already. God's sake. I don't know what's going on, honestly. I've got no idea of what I'm doing wrong. I know it's going to be a jump from motor 3, but it shouldn't be this bad. Jesus. Around the grass. I'm just all over the place. I just can't. It's like I can't ride this bike at all. I don't know when to break now either, because everything's dry. And we've been riding around in the wet. Come on then. We need to make up some positions here on this first lap. Like, we need to get into that mid-pack now and start making our way to the front. This should be, we should better do this, come on. Get off the grass. Got a good feeling around here, come on, we were doing not bad in, like we, it was raining, and I'm always bad in the rain. Here we are, let's just be brutal, screw it. We're just gonna start diving up the inside of people and hope, hope for the best. I think that's the only way we're gonna make it through any of this lot. Get track limit warnings, run the grass. Oh, we're gonna get another one there. That's fine, that's fine. As long as we don't do too many. Come on, down this back straight, see if we can get, uh, get a couple of them, or maybe just one of them. Alright, we've had a scrappy first two laps, really. We're still on the second, uh, coming to the end of the second lap now, but, um... I don't know, we've got a bit of pace, but not a lot of pace, if you know what I mean. I just, I can't get past any of them. I like just either outbreaking myself, or breaking too early, because I'm worried I'm going to crash into the side of them. Like, it's so easy to crash in this game, you just can't get in contact with people. Like right now, it's this final quarter. Uh, that's so close to going down. We're going to cut underneath. I think that's Canna. Probably going to come back on us on the power day. Out of size there. All right, let's get a few on this. Uh, start to finish straight. It's not big too. Look how late they break into turn one though. Jesus. Is that one of our teammates? Is that? Uh, I think that was um, Bulaga up in front. We're going wide into turn two though, so everyone that we've just overtaken is going to come straight back past us again. And we are dying into basically our space again. Awesome. Awesome. We are doing really well here. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I just can't. I cannot. I just can't do it. 
This is so different to Moto3, I knew it was going to be, but this is just insanely different, like, I'm so off the pace, it's unreal for pace boys, I'm still, like, I might have to sort out a difficulty, I guess, maybe start looking at difficulty, lower down a difficulty from, uh, whatever it's on now, I think it's on, like, 90%, I'm not even on 100% difficulty, I think it's on 90, possibly, I honestly can't remember what, I left it from whatever it was in Moto3, but, um, I think we'd be alright, but clearly we are not going to be alright, we're still Drill struggling right at the back. We did alright in the second race at Qatar, but I think that's just because we raced the same track twice and I you know I knew it a bit better on this bike maybe. Maybe I just need to put in some practice, but it's just uh It's a lot of work man, a lot of work. It's like being a real bloody motor bike racer here. All this practice you have to do for this game. Right, that was smooth right now. What we're on lap three of six. We've not got a lot of time left already. We're halfway through the race. Take that late apex. See if we can get on the power and get back past. The thing is, I can get past some of them on this straight, and then they will come back straight into uh, into turn one. So it will break so ridiculously late into turn one. It's unreal. And still make the corner somehow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get that Porter and we in front of him, Ramirez. For the strongest part of the track. Funny enough, it's a straight. <laughs> the rear tire is spinning up again. Can't do anything about it. I think I'm just getting on the power too early, or like too much throttle at once, but it's just so hard not to. When you can see them all just getting away in front of you, you have to just mash the throttle and it just spins your tire up and you end up actually probably going slower, but it's just so hard not to do it. Bring back these Moto3 bikes, man. Good bit for just watching me play Moto3 all the time. I can, uh, I can do that. Just kidding, just kidding. We're obviously going to try and make it through to MotoGP, but uh, we're going to have to tame these Moto2 bikes pretty quickly, otherwise we're not going to be getting any contract offers from MotoGP. We're way down the championship. We haven't uh, even stood on the podium yet. At lane won a race. We haven't done any decent qualifying, I don't think, at all. Gotta try and keep this job first before we even get to MotoGP. The team could be uh, sacking us at this rate if we keep putting in these poor performances. We're decent into that last corner, and that is about it. I mean, we're 0.7 up on our, our best lap time, so we've definitely improved but it's just a little too late, isn't it? We're like lap 5 or 6 already, and we're just we're struggling down in 26, 27th place. Yeah, 27th place still. Well, I'm sticking with them now. I'm just not really making any ground on them. Come on, get it then, Ava. I was so quick into these corners on a motor free bike. We're going to get on the outside of whoever that was. Was that Cannon in front of us? Might have been. No, I don't think it was actually. Somebody else might have been his teammate. Come on, Bad of Sorry's back up in front of us. I think we've got our teammate underneath him. Oh, there he is. Who's the guy, mate? Sorry buddy, pushed you a little bit wide there, but, you know, team uh, team honours and all that, we want to be beating you, I'm afraid. We're nowhere near beating Digi, Digi's probably up in the top five, I would imagine. i am not even got time to look at the uh, tower over there on the left. Get the brakes on, buddy, get the brakes on. Oh, that was pretty close again. Alright, last lap time. Can we get power mode free for the whole lap? Probably can. Can we break into top 20? That is the question. Oh, we're taking the burr on the outside. Can we cut back and uh, power past some of these guys on the straight? Oh, I'm not if we're doing that on the curves, we can't. Come on, Lutian guys out and somebody else in front of them. Come on, that'll give us a top 20 position. That'll be... Uh, I mean, that'll be... Ah, alright, I suppose. It's not going to be brilliant. What are we, 20th? We're bang on 20th place. We're supposed to be in the top 10 according to our team objectives, but that ain't going to happen, so... Let's see if we can get Sire in before the end of the lap. Don't know if we're going to be able to, mind. This is very hard to pass on this track, actually. I never really noticed. Apart from the straights, I'm going to dive under here, though, and risk it. Push him wide. Get it down the curve, mate. I'm not done with you yet. I'm still coming underneath you. Maybe AF in front of us. I don't think we're going to be able to get him unless we do some magic around these last corners. Might be able to have a risky one into the final corner. Nah, definitely not. 
No, we're gonna go wide. Oh no, we're not we're gonna cut it back. I don't think we have the power to the line right out the curves. Alright, 19th is probably gonna be our best. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh, can we drag him to him? No, alright. I thought the line was under the uh under the bridge, but it's not. While the park firme starts to fill oh, there it is. What an race, episode that was. We're going to take a look um, at the Moto Two race. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't say I really did. That was difficult. That was that was very hard. Portimao sucked, and the Jerez wasn't much better. At least we got a uh, top twenty, I suppose. Nineteenth place for eight seconds behind. It's a quite a close field. Eight seconds is not a lot of time, is it? Well, I don't know. Anyway, where's that put us in the championship? I don't even want to know. Oh my god. 18th, 78 points behind Remy Gardner. Brilliant. We've still got eight points. We always think any points for that race, actually, thinking about it. It's top 15, isn't it? I think. So, yeah, not ideal, that. Not ideal. Not a good start to our season in the first four races. We'll see what we can do next time out. Honestly, can't remember what track it is, but uh, we'll see how we get on. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave some comments down below. Give me a, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for some more MotoGP 21 action later to come in the week. And I'll, uh, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye.